Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. Today I would like to talk to you about integration of Dynamics 365 for finance and operations with Microsoft Project Plan. This integration became available only in the recent release of Upgrade 10 of Dynamics 365 FO. So let's take a look at what you need to make it happen. First of all, you need a Dynamics 365 application upgraded to version 10. So we're going to check ours. And we see that the version is update 10. You will also need a Microsoft project line. So this is a Microsoft project 2016. First thing you need to do, you need to download an add-in and make sure that it is installed on your Microsoft project line. To do so, we have to navigate to workspaces, select project management, and under links section on the right hand side, under setup section, we can see configure project client add-in. So this is the link that you need to click. You will see a file being downloaded that I'm gonna keep, and then you have to execute on that file. One thing to keep in mind is similarly to how the workflows work in Dynamics 365, you have to open it from Edge. It does not work for Chrome, you're gonna get this error. So I'm going to copy that URL and open it in Edge. Once I'm in Edge, I'm going to click on the same link. I'm going to open that file. And I have to go through an install process. In this case, because I have already installed the client, I got this message that the latest version of this customization is already installed. If you're doing it for the first time, you're going to see a message that will ask you, do you want to install or ins don't install this plugin? So this is the message that you should see. I just took a screenshot of it to, this, to demonstrate to you. Once you successfully go through installation process, you should get this message that says that your Microsoft Office customization or add-in was successfully installed. Once you've done that, in order for it to take an effect, you need to restart your Microsoft Project Client. So close it and open it again. How, so how do you know if that installation runs successfully? So first of all, you need to see that Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations tab in your client. It's going to have several buttons over here. You can also check your add-ins by clicking on File, Options, Add-ins. And you will see that you have Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance for operations add-in for Microsoft Project that it was successfully installed. Now let's take a look how it works. So the first of all, I will show you how you can open a word breakdown structure in Microsoft Project Client. So there are two ways to do that. You can either do it from the Microsoft Project Client by clicking on the Open button. This is the first way. You will see there are several bugs with this integration. So this integration is still very fresh. There are, you will see there are multiple bugs or you know, shortcomings in the current integration, but it's a good start, especially for the people that used to work with Microsoft Project Client and would like to maintain the work breakdown structure using that client versus doing it directly in Dynamics 365. So the first of all, you will see that it's asking me to log into the Dynamics X workflow editor. For people that work with the system before, you know that's very similar to how you edit any workflow in Dynamics 365. You have to log in from time to time. So what I will do here, I've entered my email, but I will copy that email address because I know that I will have to enter it right quite frequently after almost every operation so far. This is one of the uh, bugs that we discovered. So once I enter my email address, I have to enter my password. And once you log in, the system is prompting you which project would you like to open. So first of all, the selection is for the legal entities here. So I can select uh, multiple legal entities. For example, I'm going to select US Consulting. And a second selection is so only the projects that have calendar attached to them will show up in that list. So I'm going to select this cycles and reports, for example. So you will see the system will go through a sync process, which is kind of buggy too. You will see a lot of flickering here, messages that do not really fit into the box. You can't really resize the syncing box right now, but hopefully it will happen in a new release. 
you will also get this message that you moved certain tasks to a certain date. Would you like this tag to be this date or move it to a different date? So I'm going to click on continue. And in a few minutes, we will see a current work breakdown structure that already exists in Dynamics 365 for operation. So this, is, this was one way of opening the WDS in Microsoft Project. I'm going to close this file. I'm going to say that I don't want to publish those changes to Dynamics 365. And I will show you a second way in which you can open the WDS. For this, you just have to navigate to the project that you're interested in. So for example, the CD manufacturing, I'm going to just click on it. And you can click on this open in Microsoft project link. Once you do that, the Microsoft project file will be downloaded and I can open it using my Microsoft project find. So you see again, I'm being asked to log in, even though I logged in just a few minutes ago. So I have to enter my email address and the password again. But that's again, I think that's a bug and hopefully Microsoft will uh, take care of it in the new release. The same thing actually still exists in the editing of the workflows in Dynamics 365. So again, some flickering during the sync. Same message, I'm gonna say continue. And here is my work breakdown structure. So the project 97. Or the new features are available under this tab. So I'm going to click on the Dynamics 365 for Operations tab. And you can see that I can add resources to that task. I'm going to click on that. And that's where, again, certain the window is too small. I cannot really resize it in any way. I tried it. So some, something that probably will be fixed soon. But what you're doing here uh, is you can select available resources for this task. So I'm going to select those first three names, which are again, too small, Aaron, Adam, and Adriana. And unfortunately, the OK button is hidden. You can only see the close button. So we have to kind of blindly get to it. And the way I figured it out, I'm going to select the last record here, and I'm going to go start tabbing right now. So I'm going to tab, tab, tab. And now I know that uh, my focus is on the OK button. I'm going to press Enter. It's again, it's a workaround. The Windows is too small. We don't see all the buttons. We don't see all the columns. But nonetheless, this is what we have to do. And now when we click on resource name column, we can see those three names that I just added, highlighted. You can add multiple resources. And you can press Enter too. So now our newly created task has the name. We define the duration, the start and end date. We can also assign the resources from Dynamics 365. So again, that list that we saw was actually employee list from Dynamics 365 from my US consulting company. We can also select the category. Keep in mind that the categories are not really linked to the project categories in Dynamics 365. And once you're happy with that task, now it's time to publish. As with opening the WDS structure, there are two ways you can publish. One way works for me, another one does not. So let me show you the one that actually works first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save the file, and we can just simply close it. When you're closing it, you're going to get this prompt saying, do you want to publish changes from this file to Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operation? And I'm going to say yes. OK, now once it's done, we can come back to our work breakdown structure for our project, Professional Containers, and we can open it. So we can see that the task number four, Microsoft Project Task, has been added. It has PM category, and also it has the correct number of hours. And if we click on the drop down for the resources, we see our Aaron, Adam, and Adriana as being added to the resources. So this was the way we were able to publish into WDS for our project in Dynamics 365 by modifying the file in Microsoft Project Client, saving the file, and then closing, and then on the prompt saying, yes, we would like to publish those changes into our project in Dynamics 365. The other way that didn't work for me was actually using the Publish button in the Microsoft Project Client itself. For that, I will open my project in the client right now. 
So same project, click on the button, open that file. I have to enter my email again. Takes a few moments to synchronize again. And I'm gonna click on the publish button right now and you have an option publish to a new project or an existing project. I'm gonna select the second option and it's gonna give me again, first of all, it doesn't really know that it's already linked to an existing project. It has, it has, it's asking me to pick that project again. So I have to pick my correct company and then pick correct project. There it is. But what happens now is when you click OK, it's gonna give you that prompt. This project has was a project on Sideshow. Are you sure you want to replace it? And I'm gonna say yes. And you see the message in the bottom saying that the project was successfully updated in Dynamics 365 for operation. But the problem here is I can't really close this window anymore. I can click on OK. It's gonna go through that refresh and send, shows me the same message. I can click on Cancel button. It doesn't really close this anything. And I cannot close that window on my own. And I cannot go to any other tabs because this is an active window right now. I can only click OK, which tells me that it's successfully posting, even though it's not. And then cancel and close that doesn't do much. So the only way for me to kind of proceed from here, because I'm stuck, would be just going through a task manager and shutting down that Microsoft project altogether. OK, so here's another bug uh, on top of uh, all other things is that it's you can't really publish to Dynamics 365 using the publish button. You're better off right now in the current release, which is update 10, and this video is recording uh, happening on October 1st of 2017, is to go and save the file and then close that file, getting that prompt and then saying yes. A few other things that I would like to mention here is you can open that work breakdown structure, you can see it, but you, you notice that you cannot add or delete or save any new task in that work breakdown structure because right now the control of that structure is entirely in Microsoft Project Client. Uh, so because we need to click on the open in Microsoft Project and that's where we can do our changes. So uh, if, that project, if that project is linked to Microsoft Project, we can only view the structure we cannot modify it in Dynamics 365. So that's number one. Number two, if you would like to unlink and uh, enable changes from Dynamics 365 itself, you need to click on this unlink from Microsoft Project. You're gonna get this prompt. Unlinking will result in the deletion of the sync Microsoft Project file. This will cause you to lose all the information in that file. Do you want to continue? But if you're gonna say yes, it's gonna throw you back into the original structure and allow you now to edit that structure using Dynamics 265, not the project. So you can see it right here. If you change your mind and you would like to now re-enable editing of that structure in Microsoft Project, you can click on that Open in Microsoft Project again, and it's gonna open that file from which you can do all the editing that we've already been through uh, so far. And again, very annoying feature is entering the email address and password on every open. So I'm very hopeful that this will get addressed pretty soon. And syncing, flickering here kind of looks a bit odd, but as long as it's opening and just going through that sync process, as long as it's opening, we don't mind. So just to conclude, um, it's a first try, it's a first release of that micro integration between Dynamics 365 for finance and operation with Microsoft Project. So as we would expect, there are you know, some bugs that exist. If our, our feel right now is if you, you would benefit from this integration only if you're used to and really like Microsoft Project. If you feel very comfortable working in this environment, then you may benefit from this integration instead of doing uh, editing in Dynamics 365. But considering that it's really um, pretty raw, it's a first release, it's a first draft, then if you feel that it's too much to do that uh, in editing in here, then there is always an option of editing in your work, work breakdown structure using Dynamics 365 for finance and operation instead. With that, I would like to conclude that that is all for now. Hope you enjoyed that video. Leave us any comments if you have any, and until the next time.